Hey GN, this is Patrick Stone coming at you with another hardware tip. Today we're going to look at DVI dual link cables. And what we want to focus on today is if you buy a dual link cable for three, five, six dollars, you might not be getting the dual link that you think you're getting. Um, let's say that you buy a DVI dual link cable and uh, it looks something like this. Notice the thickness of this cable versus this cable over here. Um, when you plug your DVI dual link cable in, if you're only using, say, 1920 by 1080 resolution, you may not notice it. But when you push to higher resolutions, you're probably not going to be able to get that picture. We want to make sure at uh, Gamers Nexus here that you don't get ripped off. So we're going to show you a little tip on how to, how to test this out. If you look at these two things, you got uh, DVI dual link on my left hand and DVI single link on my right hand. The connectors are clearly different. And what's happening is we're missing some pins right here in the middle. These missing pins uh, are actually missing in the wire section as well. So if we look at this DVI dual link cable, you may get a dual link cable that is a thin cable instead of a thick one and may have the right connector on it, but then no wires for that connector to connect to. So what you can do is you can take a digital multimeter like this guy right here. I got a fluke. You can take a you know $12 version from advanced auto parts or whatever other place you want to go to. Uh, and they'll do the same thing, just need to use the resistance setting. Here we have a continuity test, uh, which creates a nice little audible beep for us when we complete a circuit like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to line these two DVI connectors up side by side with a little uh, help. And then we're going to actually try and do some connectivity. So you take both ends of your multimeter and just tap one end like this, tap the other end like this, and you get that nice audible beep. That means that you've got connection. So the places that you're really, really interested in are columns four and columns five, because that's your dual link. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to just simply take our probe, touch it to the first pin on column four, and then touch it to the first pin over here on column four, and we got a nice audible beep. That means we got connectivity. Therefore, there's definitely a wire going from this column four pin one over to this column four pin one. You do that same, same little test action from column four, pin two, three, column five, pin one, two, three, and then you, you can guarantee that you have what you paid for. And again, you're probably gonna pay a little more for an actual DVI dual link cable. So while you're testing, if you, if you see something like this, I'm gonna just go over here and touch uh, column one, pin one over here, and column one, pin one over here. Notice that I get no audible beat. Well, that's the kind of thing that would warn you that, you know what, there's no actual wire in between these two pins. On this particular cable, that's not a big deal because it's a DVI-D type cable, meaning digital only, then this particular guy on that pin doesn't even need a wire there because that is an analog signal wire. This one's also missing four other pins inside around the slotted part of the connector, but those again are also for the analog signal. So don't be too weary if you get a DVI-D dual link and that column one, pin one doesn't work for your continuity test because it shouldn't. Again, it has to do with analog. Uh, this is, again, Patrick Stone with Gamers Nexus. We'll see you guys next time.